Okay, I'm going to uh, explain why uh, all different animals were used in uh, in this novel. Uh, I'm not surprised to see that German camp prisoners are portrayed as mice. It is understandable why the author felt that the whole Jewish nation was a mouse in cat's claws. Uh, they were treated the same despite the obvious differences among them. Some of them were educated, some of them illiterate, some of them were rich or poor, honest or dishonest. Etc. But they were treated equally. Uh, a mouse has to hide all the time in the house, and even the mouse in the house uh, has more from its life comparing to to the German camp prisoners. Uh, Jews didn't have a choice; they can only be the mouse with all cats around them, threatening to their safety. I can understand why Artie thinks that all Germans are cats and pigs. Cats kill m mice and pigs are dirty. According to uh, Jews, they are not kosher. Uh, that means uh, pigs uh, are forbidden to eat. Uh, Jews are not going to eat uh, pigs because God forbid it in the Torah. And I'm uh, a little bit disappointed that Artie didn't make a, a, a distinction between German and Polish people. Uh, they're all cats and pigs. Uh, he could draw a different animal for Polish people that helped him and helped other Jews. He could say that there were some other Germans that disagree with the regime. Uh, putting all people from a certain nation into the same basket and make them guilty. And that's not distant, distant enough from the racist idea uh, that all Jews are the same. I have to disagree with that because uh, it would not represent the reality in the war. Uh, the Polish people tried to resist Germans, they lost the war and they can't be all pigs and cats, certainly not all of them. It is an interesting idea to show different nations as different animals to describe their relations. Uh, we can see that French are frogs, Americans are deer, uh, they don't eat mice. Uh, but it still sounds offensive to see your nation or someone else's nation uh, as not so beautiful animal. We're not all the same. All French do not eat frogs and all Americans did not approve the Vietnam War. So uh, if that was allusion art was trying to make, I have to disagree with that idea. Again, it is not distant enough from racism to put all citizen, citizens into the same category and I would expect from a victim of racism to make the, that distinction, not all people are the same. Generalizations are not true and we cannot make a whole nation good or bad. Personally, I have suffered from such generalizations and I know how others can treat you very bad only because you were born in some particular territory. And later, Art draw himself as a human being with uh, a mouse mask. And his psychiatrist, also a survivor of the Holocaust, uh, was depicted as a human being with a mouse mask. So it looks like he was a mouse, but he be became a man now. It seems like uh, uh, I'm not a mouse anymore. I'm a Jew, but uh, I'm also a human being. Uh, or maybe he's uh, trying to show that he's pretending to be a Jew. Be uh, he's a man, he's something else, but still have uh, a mask of the Jews because uh, when someone has, in, in the novel, when someone has a mask, it looks like he's pretending to be something else. For example, Vladek, uh, his father had a pig mask when he tried to hide 
that he is a Jew and he pretended to be a Polish or something else, not a Jew. So uh, uh, definitely it is an interesting idea to draw people as a different animals, but the fact that different nationalities were generalized represents a serious flaw to the me uh, message against racism.